rustling on top of me and rustling on top of me. I'm sitting on this pine stand, like it's thick with boughs up on top of me, so I can't see to the tip of the tree. And all of a sudden, st <laughs> stuff comes coming down on top of me. I'm like, what's going on? I'm looking up. <laughs> and there's small cubs, probably like, I don't know, this high maybe? looking down at me. <sighs> Probably missed a lot of footage. Corey lost the camera while driving on his ATV wheeler. So, my hunter finally showed up. This is Thursday afternoon. And uh, I found it while doing some bait runs. So, just arrived at Bull Bait. Might have just picked at it. Actually, it looks like it. Probably just picked at it and wasn't too aggressive with it. So, you can smell the still smell that magic mark we smeared on this tree two weeks ago. <sighs> That's some strong smelling stuff. I'm actually curious what's hanging around here. Corey hung this camera up here yesterday, a couple of days ago, I believe. I'm going to pull the card and check it. Hopefully, uh, it's a big crank or cruising these pine trees. It's There's a black bear up ahead walking the road. It looks like a decent bear. down that cut line there I seen a black bear crossing the road there and uh, walked a little ways along and thought maybe he'd offer a better shot for the video but darted off into the brush before before I came too close so but this stand has been hit meat's all out of there Got a trail camera set up there, and uh, this, these wolf carcasses, they won't just, they just won't want to touch them. There's something there. Wolf car carcasses, but they don't like them. Alright guys, I'm going to rebeat the stand to check the trail cam. See what kind of caliber bears we got running around, so... Uh, It's getting pretty warm out again, guys. All right, Let's see what we got. Well, guys, just arrived at the uh, Quest Bait site, and it's been hunted pretty hard. You can see just destroyed. And here's one fat old boar. He's pretty big. Definitely put a hunter on this down for 
tomorrow. It's pretty exciting. Big bears are hitting the sights. Can't get better than that, guys. Smell of bear hunting in the spring. And mosquitoes bugging at your ears. I got a couple of pails of pig guts and a bag of oats to fill this barrel up. Definitely don't want to let it run out, so. Man, there's just some pretty good hard pack trails right in here. I uh, checked the trail cam and uh, that big one was here an hour before I left, so he's definitely around here. Close. And the good thing is he's hitting these sites during the day, guys. During the day, I have pictures of him pretty much sitting and sleeping at this barrel all day long which is a good sign and that means he's <clears throat> pretty easy easy shootable during daylight hours See a bear run off. So I'm gonna sit here for for the evening and uh, all the hunters are dropped off at a different stand. I gave them a camera, a DSLR, and uh, hopefully they, they can shoot a bear tonight and get it on film. And, uh, I've been cruising around all day and rebaiting stands. And, Checking trail cams. Found some decent, decent sized bears on camera, so definitely a good sign. Quickly uh, throw in a couple of pair of bear uh, peels of bait and run up the stand and wait for one or a couple to show up.
been sitting on the stand for over an hour watching this bear circle me and circle me and circle me. And uh, I was like, man, it's just, it's just an uptake bear. It doesn't want to come in, probably smelling me. It's just a smart bear. That's what my thought was. And it was a decent size too, so. And uh, all the, like I keep hearing some sort of bear noises, like uh, whining noises. And I was like, oh, maybe probably there's a sound with cubs coming in because I couldn't pinpoint the sound. And I hear rustling on top of me and rustling on top of me. I'm sitting on this pine stand, like. It's thick with boughs up on top of me, so I can't see to the tip of the tree. And all of a sudden, st <laughs> stuff comes coming down on top of me. I'm like, what's going on? I'm looking up. <laughs> and there's small cubs, probably like, I don't know, this high maybe, looking down at me. They're coming down. And I'm like, guys, I'm in a pickle. Because of those little small cub, cubs coming down. And that cell is going to be down there to meet him. And I'm sandwiched in between them. And I think you're pretty sure you guys know what a cell does to someone like me if it's in between her and her babies. Minch meat. Dirksen. I grab my backpack and just start throwing stuff down the stand. I was eating chips up there and uh, had a bottle of water. I was like, screw it, I'm leaving that. Just threw my stuff down, grabbed my shotgun, and just bombed down there before the cell reached me. I could hear her coming through, through because she could uh, hear her cubs coming down the tree. Jumped on the quad and just bombed it. But anyway, that was interesting. I wish I could get some footage <laughs> of the cubs, but right then and there, I thought about bailing ASAP. But it's 9 19. And another hour and 20 minutes, I'm going to pick up these guys. Legal shooting times are done at 10.45. So. Uh, sometimes you got to wonder about living in the woods. All right, guys, over and out. Well, guys, just got a text message. Big bear down, so... Load off the quad, hook up the trailer, and see if we can find big fat bassy. Load it off and let's go boys. Can you see him from there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he went 30 yards, spun a circle, and fired. <laughs> I was hoping for a double long. I had a perfect shot. I, I hurried up. He was just setting up your camera. It's like, I got to take this item perfect broadside of the perfect we got on speed camera. behind oh, it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, he filmed it, yeah. But I had it. I just knew I had it at enough angle to hit the long perfect. Perfect. I, yeah, I'm glad he didn't go way back in that timber. <laughs> yeah. That's the one you think, because you know what? He's so scared. He circled us three times before he took bait. He just nibbled a bait, one, took over and here and left, and then we set up the shoot and film. And then another mm -hmm. big bear circled around this way. We thought it was him coming back. Not quite and then, mistake. yeah, well, I had to get good. He went over there, got there, was scared, and this one come back. And then we realized that's got to be the shooter. It's big black. 
He just came back, and that's I just took the shot because it was perfect. <laughs> awesome. I hope it's the one you saw on camera. You know a lot more about. Yep. He's a monster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a nice player. But just a perfect shot. <laughs> 